without a human face. They locked you away. You are listening to The Camps. That is one of the songs in the new musical drama, Theodora. It premieres Friday at the Amos P. Godby Theater. And this morning, we have playwright and composer Diane Dupuy Whitney, and also assistant director Alicia Melissevic mm -hmm. in the center here, and vocalist Deborah Brigman, who plays the title character. You guys, welcome to our studio. Thank you. Thank you. So glad that you could join us. Um, Diane, I'm going to start with you. First of all, who was Theodora? Tell me her story. That's Diane. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> I guess you guys exactly. don't really hear. Um, tell me her story, if you don't mind. Theodora was a very brave woman who managed to survive the Holodomor and under Stalin and continue on with her two little girls when she didn't have her husband with her anymore because he was sent to the Gulag. And they made their way all the way through uh, Germany and through camps and incredible uh, discomfort and poverty and not having things to eat. So her story is an inspiration. It certainly sounds like it and I'm sure that you draw a lot of inspiration from that as you portray her character. We're going to talk a little bit more about that but this play also doubles as an educational project. Yes, um, so this is actually the third installment. Um, we had a Reader's Theater and a banner exhibit that came to Godby High School, and I was uh, thankfully chosen to teach it. And then we were able to take our students up to the Capitol and actually see the original paintings. So that was like an eye-opening exhibit, and so my students are going to get to come back and from, I taught last year, to actually see the play. So they'll see all three parts of it. So, and it ties in perfectly to what's going on in Ukraine and Russia right now. It does, uh, that educational experience, getting them out of those desks into mm -hmm. the community, seeing how it relates to everything is definitely good for them. Now, this play started taking shape years before Russia actually invaded Ukraine, but what impact did seeing the war unfold have on writing the musical? Well, I have to say it was very painful to watch what was happening in Ukraine, especially in Mariupol, because I had already started the songs but it, the, the occurrences in Ukraine definitely impacted what I went on to include, especially uh, all of the other characters that would be involved. Now, we are taking a look at some photos right now, and we want to see if we can get some from the rehearsal as well. I understand this is going to be like an immersive experience for the audience. Tell me a little bit about how that goes into play. This is Teodora, so I'll let you tell it. Well, it's, it's just, um, I think because of the current events and what has happened in Ukraine over the last year, it's just so important that everyone know what the history is behind all of this. And it starts with bullying. So it just, at 90 years of bullying and, um, we just all feel honored being able to be involved in this. Such uh, a large scale of that bullying. Um, how do you prepare for the role? Prayer. <laughs> Prayer um, does some well, amazing and, and things. I, and I feel her. I feel her pain. I was a single mother. And um, so I can, I can relate. I can relate to um, some of the pain that she went through. But having to leave her two daughters behind mm. as she leaves for Canada, to start a new life, I can't even imagine. Well, you're not gonna have to imagine too much longer because next uh, in our next half hour and just a little bit, we are gonna show you a little piece, just a smidgen of this play. Thank you ladies you're for welcome. joining us. We look forward to seeing yes, you in just a you. bit. Thank you. Thank you. 